we have some interesting examples to look at here. Let me tell you. So write this down. You have the third root of 64x to the 11th, y to the 15th. What would you get if we simplify this? Okay, so we're going to kind of um, see if we can get these guys down to the third power. Okay, so by that I mean we have to be very careful and ask ourselves if we can get this to the third power. Okay, so it's like trial and error here. So if you say 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, you would get 64. Okay, that's just intuition. And if you work with these numbers enough, you would be able to see it more quickly. So you can write the 64 as 4 to the third power. Now, for the x term here, we can um, as I said, what, we, what can we break the 11 down into? So, I'm going to say x to the third to the third power. So, 3 times 3 is 9, and we need 2 more to make 11. So, we'll say x to the second. Okay. So, that was the difficult part there to recognize that this part here x to the third to the third power is 9, x to the ninth, and then you need two more to make 11. Okay, so what can you divide y to the 15 down into? So if you say y to the fifth power to the third, you are correct because 5 times 3 is 15. Now, if you have the term that has a 3 in it, like this, remember you can think of that as 4 to the third power over 3. Okay? And then you can think of that as x to the third to the third power over 3 tedious work here okay and then here you have x to the second over three and then you would have y to the fifth power three over three okay like that now watch the fractions carefully, 3 over 3 is the same as 1, so you can leave this as 4. Again, that's 1, so what we have left is x to the third. Nothing we can do here, so we'll leave that as x to the two third. And then here you have, again, 3 over 3 is 1, so we'll have y to the fifth. Now this is a fraction here, so we're going to rewrite this as 4x to the third, and then this one, you know what, let's put the y to the fifth out first, and then we'll have our square root of x to the third squared, okay? So this one is that guy there. Sounds good? Let's look at one more, just to be safe. Okay. Again, please remember to pause the video or rewind to go over some of the concepts again if as necessary. 
So here we have the fourth root of 81x to the 12th power y to the 16. Okay, what would you get if we try to work this out? Okay, so let's break this down into three components. Let's say the fourth root of 81 Better yet, here, let's just try this again. Let's ask ourselves, what number of times is uh, four times to get 81? Okay, if you say three times, three times, three times, three, let's see what we'll get here. Three times three is nine, nine times three is 27 times 3 is 81. So 3 to the 4th power will work here. Okay. Now let's deal with the x. You can think of this as x to the 4th power to the third, like that, okay? And then the last term, you can think of it as y to the fourth power times four, to the fourth power, okay? So, I got this switched around, my bad. So, this should be x to the third power to the fourth. Okay. Either way, you're going to get 12. Now, uh, we have a 4 in, out here. Okay. If you have a 4, 3 to the fourth over 4, okay. We'll just leave it at that for now. And then here you have x to the third, again, 4 over 4. And then you have y to the fourth, 4 over 4. Okay. So, this cancels, become a 1. And so does this and this also. Ultimately, we have 3 x to the third, y to the fourth. Okay. That's our final answer.